Hello and welcome to the Aquarium. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, we are standing in the Leoplerodon enclosure that we built last time out. This massive enclosure that took hours and hours and hours. Um, it was well worth it though. I, I feel like it could do with some more decorations, but that's not going to be the focus of today's episode. Today we're going to be doing one of these ones, the Carcanos. That's right, so this uh, little bay area that we had here, this is the fly up, I thought would be a perfect little place for a crab. So the idea is going to be to build a little walkway coming around so you can look at it and uh, we'll kind of enclose it off so it's got a bit of beach um, and a bit of water there to to, uh, to walk around in. So um, yeah, I'm only going to have one because uh, these sort of natural rock formation kind of makes it it's a nice natural enclosure but it is fairly small for the size of this creature. So we'll just have the one and um, it can just have, well, we'll come out here and yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes anyway. So before we get started, I just want to show you there's a couple of uh, creatures that we've named, or that I've named. I've chosen some names from the, from the comments that, um, that you guys have left. And uh, yeah, let me go and uh, dive in and we'll go and find them. So the first one is the Basilosaurus, and that is Tinpix X. Always leaves nice comments on the videos, so thank you very much for watching the videos. And this one's named after you. Hope you like that one. Um, let's move on to the next. Okay, the next one is one of the two sows. This is, oh, it's just going to have a render range. I want to show the name. Come back. Oh, let's wait till it comes back. Oh, here it is. It is, oh, can we see that one? Pollen 29. So again, that leaves nice comments in the videos. And uh, thanks very much for watching. We have a bit of a disaster with this enclosure. Some of the, the two sows have become wedged into the walls, despite the fact that they're supposed to be following these nodes. Um, I think that we have some issues with the rendering so that they, they actually swim out a side of the uh, the wall limit before it renders in and then therefore when it does render in they then get stuck. Um, there's the other ones like that as well. That's almost swam the whole way out. So I'm not entirely sure why they're doing that. It's kind of frustrating. I can't get in the back end without destroying the walls and I just haven't got time for that right now because we need to build, build new things. I've got one more thing to show you. So let's go one more name. And it's over there, the Plessy. Let's go and see who the Plessy is. Here we go. Here is the Plesiosaur, and it is Infinite Royal. Again, always leaves nice comments on the videos. I really do appreciate the comments that you guys leave. And if you do leave a nice comment, um, you may well get a creature named after you. Don't ask for them to be named after you, because I probably won't choose you. But just leave nice comments. That's all, that's all I ask, really. Um, and these guys who I've named today always do leave nice comments, um, you know, relevant to the video. And it really makes a difference to uh, you know to the feedback that I get. It's, it's such a good thing. So thank you very much. So there's you. Also, we've got the Pleso uh, swimming around again. This was a problem we had. It was getting stuck in the corner. Now there must be a recent update to the um, the mod that gives the the waypoints for them to follow. Is that you can actually move them rather than have to destroy them and place them again. I think that's a new thing. I, I didn't don't remember that being an option when I first started using it. And I just moved one in, wait, just a little bit away from the wall, and now it's perfect. It seems to be swimming around absolutely fine. So that is fantastic. Right. Okay. That's enough naming. Let's go. Oh God. These see these guys again. We have trouble with the rendering thing. They seem to have rendered outside that wall there, and this one's going crazy. Um, they're not. Yeah, it just doesn't work. It's a whole disaster. Talking of disasters, we should have slightly less of them because I have disabled, as far as I can tell, I've disabled all wild spawns uh, everywhere. So um, that should stop all the creatures spawning in and then trying to eat my... Oh, that's not where I wanted to go to. Uh, trying to eat everything. So there should be nothing around. There's absolutely no dinosaurs. There's no things. Hopefully that will also help with the frame rate as well because we're going to be slightly struggling with that in the future because of everything that we're building here as you can see how long it takes to render in as it is <laughs> come on render in if we swim up to it that will just kind of force it there we go force this one to render in come on we, we, we did a lot of a lot of work on this let's not let's be able to see it there we go and this bit and this bit on all this there we are there we are right and and one little corner perfect okay so this is where we're going to be building today uh so we're going to be build out a little walkway and with a viewing platform there's a nice little viewing platform over here maybe and we'll have some fences coming over here to stop it from wandering off this is kind of a natural barrier i don't think it'll be oh, they can jump but obviously they don't do that when wandering so um i think it'd be pretty good right let's get started 
Right, so the first thing I want to do is we're going to start building out the walkway. It's going to have to come out this way, or if I build the inner wall, I don't want to come in too far because we want to be able to come out in this direction. I'm wondering whether I should use triangles. That's not a bad idea. I haven't used them for a while, just kind of kept things fairly square because that's easier to get things to line up. But it might be nice to have a kind of a diagonal walkway going across here. Maybe right from here. That could be an interesting idea. Let's, let's give it a go. We'll see how it looks. Um, I've got to see if I have... Oh, there, there's some. Perfect. We'll put that in the number one slot there. So we can go to one here and then will that work? Go straight. straight. Oh, that's, the angle's not brilliant, is it? That's a little bit too sharp. I think maybe we can improve that a little bit. I guess what we could do, in actual fact, here we go. Let's just use the triangles themselves as a, uh, a walkway like this. How's that going to work? I think that's pretty much perfect. So we'll use these to, uh, to come across. Oh, I've got my fingers the wrong way around on the buttons here. Let's uh, move across like this. So all we're going to do is kind of come around that to that rock. Um, and I think I may even be able to have a, like a double level walkway. That could be an interesting idea. So because we've got quite a wide thing here, maybe, maybe we could have some stairs coming up here to go straight above. So you could have two levels of walkways. It's not a bad idea. We will, might see how that works. But what I might do first of all is just try and get the one level sorted, just to kind of see whether it works. Um, and at some point we can actually come in and start, you know, coming out that way. But not just yet, I don't think. We'll need to come around to this rock. Yeah, and then um, what we could do, probably get the right angle. But that looks pretty good to me. Oh, uh, yeah, then we can just go straight across here. So I think this is actually going to be quite a rare occasion where it doesn't matter if it, it lines up because we're going to build this to come around over to the, the cliff and use this cliff as a natural barrier. Um, did I just see something moving over there? I shouldn't have done. I think that's my imagination. I'm sure I saw something move because there shouldn't be any dinosaurs wild on this server at all now. Yeah, anyway, and then we can um, have another walkway or not just a barrier going across here, just a, a, a wall. And that should be, it doesn't matter if it lines up that way, so that way we can actually get away with using these triangles, not worrying about how well it lines up. Perfect. Okay, right, let me get this uh, last walkway built, and uh, I'll come back when that's done. There. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I just, I wish I had caught it on camera. That was the most scariest looking thing ever. Uh, what I wanted to do was to bring it a little bit closer to me as I was building this, and um, it was walking here, and I was about to, to unfollow, and it just leapt out into the sky and just landed on top of my head. Uh, if, that, <laughs> that, if I was a visitor, and it's just to do that, that was the scariest thing ever. Um, so, <laughs> let's bring it back over this way a little bit. All right, here we go. So they do jump if they need to when they follow you. If they can't get across let's just leave you right there oh you're right under the water there there we go there we go um right okay so what, what i'm planning on doing is oh god where's it gone oh the right i'm follow i'm follow it's going to start jumping at me now um so i've w done the walkway just out to here I, I decided not to carry on any further this way because quite frankly you can't see there's not really much point i'm going to start being, building some stairs and i'm going to go up to the top of this rock and have a like a viewing point from up there so the railings are here, but that's what I was thinking. It's big, it has massive claws. I feel like a little railing like this would be a little unsafe. Uh, I know all the uh, creatures here at uh, the zoo and the uh, aquarium are very well trained and, and they don't like to eat the visitors, but you don't want to be too careful. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put some glass walls here. And we're just going to... Uh, would one be enough? Just one high and then um, one, yeah, one high, and then we'll put on some more railings on the top. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty good. I like that. And I mean, just the single row of railings at the back there would be absolutely fine. Um, but that, I believe, looks pretty snazzy. I like it. You have to let me know what you think in the comment section. And then, what, of course, what we can do is we can change these so that it's not quite so intrusive. We can get rid of some of these uh, metal bars here so you can kind of get a good view. But that's what I'm going to do there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work on some stairs. Uh, I do have a ramp, but I don't think... No, what I need to do is move out this way. Uh, I'll stick a wall across there, and then we can put the ramps in like that. Before I do that, though, 
Do you want? Yeah, we want to do that. And the other one, I don't have another one. I don't want to do that one. So yeah, but that's what we're going to be doing. Um, we'll have the ramp go across there. Some stairs go up there. So that'll look pretty good. I like that. Alright, so uh, here we go. We're building the staircase going up. Um, what I thought I'd do is I'd add in some pillars. We've got structure support turned off, so I don't need pillars. As you know, you probably be full aware I could build anywhere I like floating structures and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, we are trying to make this look reasonably realistic. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just add a pillar at the bottom here if we can. We'll add one in there and we'll just make that to go um, up about that high. And then we should, uh, yeah, that goes into the ground. That's absolutely fine. Um, that looks good. And then we'll just add one at the top here as well. Uh, we'll just need to get the corner snaps going. And there we go. Get that to snap all the way down into the rock. That looks pretty good. And there we go. So that actually looks like it's uh, it got some support. Looks pretty good. So what I've done is build this staircase going up towards the top of this rock. Uh, we're kind of going to try and incorporate this rock a little bit. I think what I might do is just kind of build around it as well. So people can actually kind of climb up on it. Maybe take photos and things from up the top there. That would be sort of what we could do. Um, come around like that. I think we need to come out maybe one more. If we wanted to, we could always add like a bar or something up here and people could kind of buy drinks. Um, yeah, because we've uh, so far we've got what the one restaurant in here and not really got any other refreshment things. I'm not worrying too much about that sort of things. Um, um, I just kind of want to get the enclosures done mostly, but I think it'd be nice to have some things. We'll build a platform up here, I think would be quite nice. Uh, like that. Maybe come out one more. That looks pretty good. And then we'll come out further this way as well. I wonder whether I should, I could rail off that, that little rock, make it a little feature, put some decorations there. That could look quite good. Have some kind of display there. Oh, well, I'll think about that. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. Do we want to come further forward or we'll leave it like that? How would that look? I wonder if we come one further forward. I think actually that would look quite good. Like that, so we'll rail all this off. That yeah, that does look good. And I think what we'll have is we'll have some more stairs coming back down, so I can actually walk along the beach. Yeah, I, I love the way the Leopardon ble uh, breaches the the water when it swims around. That looks so good. Uh, yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, we definitely want to decorate that, make that look good. Um, and we want to have. What else we're going to do? Yeah, so we'll have a, um, a walkway just coming down here, so we can walk along the beach. Uh, we'll use this as a, a natural barrier, so we'll just build into the wall here uh, for the the um, the barrier of the, the enclosure wall. I'll build another one over this side, and then we'll decorate this enclosure. Oh yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so here's the platform. Uh, we're definitely going to have some decorations up here, uh, but we're going to get the the basic um, enclosure done first. So I thought what I'd do is I'd rail off this central rock. We could have people climb on it, or we could just use it as a display. We'll put in some something nice in there. I'm not too sure what we'll have, but we'll have something there. And uh, yeah, so we've got the um, the staircase coming down. So we just need to switch these over to stairs. Um, and then what I've done is I've just got uh, uh, foundations going all the way across into the wall. And we're going to have the same kind of pattern um, as we did over there. So we'll have the uh, the railing, the glass wall, and another railing on top going across. Um, and we'll change these to stairs as well, all these to stairs. And we'll get the railings on this side as well. So we'll just have that like this. Um, and then I'm, I'm, it is very tempting to maybe have a staircase coming up here so people can walk over this way. I'm just trying to think about how people would get back, I guess, because we ultimately we're trying to aim towards getting around to this. This is the, the exit, um, which we built. This is the, the first episode we ever did. Oh, come on. Move, get in, render in. Ren oh, render, please, come on. There we go. We built the grand entrance. So this is the uh, the aquarium here, the grand entrance. This is where we came in. But this is going to be the exit. This will be the, the last episode of the series I'll be building this. We just want to make our way back to this place. Um, and we want to be able to enter it from somewhere on this wall. And we're going to decorate this area. Um, but but what? Because the idea behind this entire place is it's kind of a circle. So we actually need... 
I think I think what we're going to do is this is going to be like an offshoot. So people come here, look at the crab, and then they walk back through the Leopleurodon, and they're going to come over this way because we've still got the Mosasaur, which needs to be out in the open somewhere. I'm thinking, kind of, well, here we're going to be, be building it. So it's going to be like another arena type thing like we did with the Ichthysaur over here. But it's going to look different. I'm going to make it look different. And it's going to be bigger, I guess, because well, <laughs> Mosasaur's are huge. Um, but then we've also got the League Six this, which I may have identified a place in our already kind of where we've built. We may do that under the water. And the, the um, Eurypted, which is the, kind of the last one. That, that's all that's left. And we need to make, make our way back through to here so I'm I'm struggling to think about how to do this I think what I will do is people can come back through this way and what I will have is I think we're gonna have a walkway over this way and it's gonna to lead to the Mosasaur enclosure we'll come over this way maybe we'll have the erupted and then we'll go back into the there but we still and we still need the least six this as well but anyway that's for future episodes just to let you know what's the uh, the plan for the um next uh what, about three or four episodes of le that's left of this series are almost done it's getting quite excited we've almost completed the series um so yeah i'm going to carry on uh building these not with that with, with these the, the um railings on we're going to be putting the walls in and the rings on top and we just need to build another one over this way if we uh, there won't be a walkway here because the uh, visitors won't be here so we can just build like a a wall I guess, unless of course we have another walkway coming out this way, it's possible. There's no reason why we couldn't, but see, I'll, I'll have to think about that one. But anyway, I'm going to get this built. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here it is. I think the the basic enclosure is pretty much done. Uh, we've got the walkway going all the way around. Um, I've kind of I've made this platform look a little bit more substantial as well. So I've given it the walls going around, some extra pillars. Um, I think that looks pretty awesome. Uh, we've got the walkway coming down here with the uh, the viewing windows and I've got the wall along the other side. Now there's going to be no walkway here. I know I've got, it's possible you could walk along here but at the moment there's no way for the visitors to get there so I've kind of left it with just the railings here. Now we all know that this guy could jump out of here but yeah, just don't tell the guests, it's fine. Uh, so as far as decorations go, I think on the inside of this enclosure I think we're pretty much good to go. I mean we've got some trees, some uh, all the coral and stuff is down there. I don't think that's one of the reasons why I chose this area here because it was kind of naturally decorated. It just looked nice. So I think as far as uh, in in the enclosure decorations, I don't need to do anything. But what I do want to do is get this platform decorated up. Um, and maybe put a few something interesting along the um, the walkway here. So that's really all that's left to do. Uh, I do have one idea which I may do. Um, I'm, I'm still thinking about it, but what I'm going to do is we're going to get some decorations along and this bit, make this look good. Okay, so how about this? We have some plants and we have some aquariums all the way around in this central thing. I think that looks really nice. It brings a real splash of colour to this place. One thing about using the, the tech structures to build this entire place is very grey. I know I could probably paint it. I think you can paint them. I know you can change the colour of the lights on here, but... Um, I just, you know, using these plants and these aquariums, we've got this like the squid aquariums and we've got the normal ones with these coelacanths in and um, and the piranhas, uh, sorry, not piranhas, the saber-toothed salmons. Um, that, you know, it looks really nice. We've got some uh, bushes and flowers and things around the outside. Um, and one thing I want to add in is a few of these little life preservers. Probably a very uh, useful, <laughs> I should probably have a lot more of these dotted around uh, this, this place. I'll just stick in a few of these. Um, like that. Make sure that lined up. Oh, another one over here. And they just add, they just add color and decoration as well. I really like that. Uh, brilliant. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll probably add some more uh, flotation devices down over there as well. Maybe a few more plants. But that works. It's coming on really nicely. So um, yeah, let me do it a little bit more. Um, and let's think about this. All right, so we've got the um, Karkonos is now wandering, or it's following the uh, the flags that I've put in the enclosure, so that's fine. Finishing touches along here, we've got some life preservers. I'm putting in some benches, we've got a few plants, just to give this place some extra colour, some extra kind of life to it. Um, and I'm pretty much, I think I'm pretty much there. Let's place in another bench, just to make sure it's going to be somewhere where you can actually see. Uh, probably on this one here. Get it up right, nice and close to the uh, the railings, like that's perfect that looks good um 
I think it's pretty awesome. I think that's pr pretty much it. I don't think we need any benches up here. I don't think you'll be able to see very well up here. That's, actually, you know what? You know what? Well, what I will do, I will put some benches just around here because you might just want to have a sit and rest and you can look at the aquariums and that sort of thing. So I think what I'll do is on the corners here is we'll place some uh, some benches uh, on each corner. I think that will look quite nice. And you could probably have a good look at the uh, the giant crab as well from that point. Um, but I will put some over this way, even though you're not really going to be able to see anything. People, people might want to be able to sit down, um, have a picnic or something, get the sandwiches out. And we'll just do it like this. Perfect. And I think that looks amazing. I'm happy, really happy with that. Last little touch. I think we need to put something over here. We're going to put in, um, let's put in one of these. Oh, where's that going to go? We'll put it on the back here. Just again, it's more decoration, more color. Nice. And I suppose, in actual fact, benches would be good along here as well. Get a few of them. Yep, and another one. Another one here and another one at the near the stairs. And we're good to go. And one more. We'll put it not too close to the stairs, people will fall into it. Let's put it here. Ooh. Like that. Brilliant. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Oh, I think we've got a nice little enclosure here. I like it. I like it a lot. That's fantastic. Right, okay. Well, I think that's going to be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I think what the plan for next episode, um, we could either start on the Mosasaur or the Lead Sixthis. And I th think Mosasaur enclosure is going to be over this way. Lead Sixthis is going to be down under the under the water again. And uh, we'll have a, a Eurypted enclosure over this side, leading back into the gift shop, which will be this Thing which we've already built here and then this series will be done oh that's amazing brilliant okay thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it let me know what you think down in the comment section is there anything you think i should add um what do you want to see next the sick this or the mosasaur uh, enclosure i think i know what most people want to go for but um yeah let me know and uh, i will see you next time out so thanks for watching and goodbye